Hi everyone, my name is Roma. You are watching Tennis Ninja TV. Aloha tennis fans. Welcome once again to Tennis Ninja TV. I am your host Shane Cash in the Tennis Ninja and guys I thought I put together a video for you guys this time on 10 things that I believe every tennis player should bring with them to the tennis court. Number one guys is an obvious but I'm going to list it anyway. Tennis balls and tennis racket. You need to bring those things in order to play tennis and the reason I'm saying that as simple as it is is because I was a ding dong one time and I forgot my tennis racket when my friends invited me to go play doubles one time felt like the biggest idiot in the world and me being the tennis ninja bring tennis balls and your racket and make sure it's always packed in your car before you head to the court what tennis balls do you need to bring well you can just bring one can of balls just like this guys you can get these at lo your local stores uh, convenience stores, big chain stores like Costco, small stores like Long's, Pro Shops, please go support Pro Shops guys, they have tons of different types of tennis balls as well. If you're a beginner guys and you're not sure if you're going to stick this game out for very long but you do want to try it, you can get a racket like this guys and you can find these at like Target or your local sports stores. They are on the cheaper side, they usually average about $50 or less. If you are a serious or seasoned tennis player who's been doing this for a long time, you already know what you need. You need a racket like this, guys. And these rackets, you want to be able to go get at a pro shop. You will get personalized service, guys, when you go to one of these pro shops, meaning you will get the right racket for you, recommended by players, coaches, whoever's running that store knows this game inside and out. Number two, guys, on this list is tennis shoes. In obvious for tennis players, but again, for newer players, highly recommend you go and get a pair of tennis shoes. The reason is, when you use a regular pair of shoes, when you go and play, and maybe they look like this, they're not going to be built up on the sides as much or on the heels or toes. Basically, the shoe is going to get torn apart when you're on the court and you actually even run a risk of tripping and falling because the shoe is not built correctly to manage your lateral movement and horizontal movement on the court. Tennis shoes, like I've said in a previous video, do have buildup on the sides and the back and the front. It's just going to be way tougher to be able to step on hard court asphalt or even if you're around the world playing on clay or grass or any of the other surfaces. You know what I'm talking about. Tennis shoes are built for the tennis court. Go get yourself a pair today so you don't get injured, but you also can move as fast as you can on the court. Number three on my list, guys, is another obvious, but we got to talk about it. Water, drinks, bring something like that to the court. It shouldn't matter, guys, whether you play outdoors or indoors. Water and hydration is important when you are playing tennis. When you're moving around playing this game, guys, you tend to perspire a lot. So, guys, highly recommend you bring a bottle of water with you, a small flask with water, or a sports drink like an electrolyte, Gatorade, or if you have a specialized drink, that you bring to the court, maybe your coach recommended it. Bottom line is guys, you always want to bring something to the court to stay hydrated and healthy out there so you can play for as many hours as you want. Number four guys on my list is athletic clothing, AKA dry fit material. Like I said before, it gets hot out there and it can even get humid at times. So I recommend you get a dry fit material shirt, pair of shorts, maybe even a hat as well to keep yourself cool out there so you can enjoy the game. I recommend something like these guys, dry fit material, shorts, shirts, hats. They're a lot lighter material as well so when you're playing and you do, let's say, perspire, the water is just not going to sit there in your shirt and weigh you down or feel uncomfortable. You're going to be able to have moisture wicking capability, which means as you run, the air is going to be flowing through your shirt a lot easier than cotton, which actually dries the shirt or shorts off as you move around, keeping you cool as well as light on the court. So it feels like you can still move like a dove in the fourth or fifth set you play of the day as much as when you first started. Number five on the list, guys, is sunscreen, aka sun protection. Guys, 
The majority of tennis courts out there around the world are outdoors. So I recommend just like going to the beach or walking around outdoors for a little while, I recommend you get sunscreen. If you're gonna be out there playing tennis, an hour can go by and you wouldn't even realize it, which means the sun's gonna hit you for an hour. So I recommend, even if you have a hat, for example, you still wanna make sure you have yourself covered and protected so that way your skin will thank you later and you don't have to deal with things later when you're older. Plus, you're gonna feel much cooler out there as sunblock or sunscreen will protect you even from the heat factor as well. And if you're wondering guys, lip balm also does count if you're outdoors. Protect your lips guys as well because they're part of you and they can actually get burned and dried out in the sun or the wind or whatever you're playing in as well. So I recommend get some lip balm as well if you want to make sure you're pretty well protected out there. Number six on the list guys is a tennis bag. Something like this that allows you to bring all your accessories to the tennis court because you know already you've been doing this for a long period of time and there's certain things you got to always bring with you to the court that you want to be able to fit in something that's nice and easy to carry with you to the court and back and not have to carry things individually by hand. There are actually three types of racket bags, guys, that you can bring with you to the court. The first way you can bring your stuff to the tennis court is a racket cover. Guys, racket covers are usually black colored and they come with the tennis racket you guys will buy from one of the sports stores or a pro shop that gives you a cover to protect your tennis racket. It is slim, it is light. The second way you guys can carry your rackets to the court is what I showed you here earlier. This is a racket backpack. They come with straps, just like your school bag if you went to school a long time ago and you remember all that, as well as a way you can carry the rackets and more stuff with you, let's say, if you wanna bring grips, accessories, training aids, whatever else you wanna fit with you, or even lunch. And a third option, guys, is the racket tour bag. It looks like this. These things you will see a lot of competitive tournament players carry with them to the court because they are bringing everything with them because they know they're going to be out there for two plus hours grinding it out on the court. These bags are great for carrying everything from your water to cones, training aids, grips, towels, multiple rackets. Some people carry up to about five, six rackets in their bag when they bring something like this. Extra balls, hats, shoes, you name it. Everything will fit in that bag. Number seven on this list are grips. Guys, you always want to bring one of these things to the court because it's amazing how fast you can run through a racket grip when you're playing multiple times a week, you sweat a lot, or your racket just hits the ground a lot for whatever reason. They also come like this, guys. I recommend you go with these things when you are playing multiple times a week and you need a new grip pretty much every single time that you end up playing and you ruin your grip. If you do need to re-grip your racket, you simply open the pack up, take one of these out, take this tape off, and wrap your grip. And maybe I'll do a video about that in the future as well. Number eight guys on the Tennis Ninjas list to bring to the court is a towel. Again, season item. If you are playing outdoors and it is humid, it is hot, you're gonna perspire a lot and the shirt can only do so much. You do wanna bring multiple shirts to the court if you're sweating that much, but a towel, guys, makes a huge difference because you've seen it in the pros on TV a bunch of times. What do players do in between each point? They go to the back of the court and they towel themselves off to come back out. You just feel much better and a little bit lighter every time you do that. So guys, go get a towel and bring that to the court. And if you don't even do that all the time, it might be a good habit to get into. We're almost at the end, guys. Number nine on the list are warm-up accessories. Guys, these are again for seasoned players, but even for beginners, if you're into health and fitness, these are awesome to bring with you to the court. My personal favorite is a jump rope. I learned in high school, in fact my high school coach drilled it into my head that we needed to bring a jump rope with us to every single practice to warm up and get our blood flowing before we even step foot onto the tennis court. It was just the proper way for our bodies to condition themselves to be ready for a workout every single time we play because tennis is a marathon game guys. It is about cardio. You don't just walk on the court and just stand there. You're going to be moving left and right up and down the court running the ball down and you need to be conditioned to do that for at least two hours. Warm-up accessories also prevent injury. So guys, 
Before you go to the court, you want to stretch or use something maybe like an elastiband and warm your body up and condition itself so it knows what it's in for the next hour or two you're active on the court. And last but not least, guys, number 10, and this is for you coaches out there in particular, a portable chair. Guys, it is good to have one of these things because if you're like me and you coach a lot of juniors and even adults, we can't stand up forever. We already play a lot and we're standing feeding balls. You can instantly just pack in your bag and they wrap up. I can even show you right here. When you set up one of these chairs, guys, you're going to start like this and like this. And then later, plug a plug up. You put these things in like this. And you end up once again like this. So guys, these are really good. And they even come even smaller than that. These chairs are even good to place next to the player's bench because especially in times like this with all the social distancing going on, it's good to have another way to distance yourselves away from each other when you're sitting on the sidelines because the bench, we all know if you sit down, they're going to be kind of close to each other. So if you bring one of these chairs with you, it's going to make a huge difference in terms of how far away you are from someone. And in some ways, that portable chair you just brought to the court is going to be even more comfortable than the park bench that you're always used to sitting on. That was my list, guys, of top 10 things you want to bring to the tennis court. But if I missed anything or you want to suggest something that we should add to this list, comment down below in the description and get a conversation going with us to let us know what you suggest we should be bringing to the court. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video. Again, like, comment, subscribe down below to Tennis Ninja TV on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook as well as my website at TennisNinjaHawaii.com. Go check us out. We are the pulse of Hawaii tennis. Guys, God bless, be safe, and aloha. We'll see you on the court.